Ravens Rundown by Chad Sports. Tyler Jones here. Thanks for joining us on today's show. The first day of Ravens training camp is in the books. We have our top observations from the first practice for your Baltimore Ravens on today's show. Let's go ahead and get right to it. First and foremost with J.K. Dobbins. His absence was very noticeable. And you look at two things with J.K. Dobbins and his absence. Yes, he was put on the pup list a few days ago, but he's still just nowhere to be seen, not even around the facility. So people were wondering, is it really about the injury or is this a full-on holdout here? As we know, J.K. has been very upset about his contract situation trying to get a new deal. John Harbaugh spoke about J.K. Dobbins and the situation as things stand right now. This is what he had to say. I wish it was a simple answer. There's always a lot of things that go into football, but there's some complexity to it, and we're walking through all that. J.K.'s working through it, and I'm looking forward to when he's out there. I know he'll get ready. He's in all the meetings mentally and doing those kind of things. I also believe this is about J.K. He'll be happy when he's out there. He wants to be out there, and we both want the same thing. After missing mandatory minicamp, I have no reason to give J.K. Dobbins the benefit of the doubt as far as why he is not around. I believe this is more about his contract than the injury situation here. Yes, sure. He wants to be 100% make sure that he's all squared away and good to go. I get that. But we can't just ignore what he said this offseason wanting more money in a new contract when, quite frankly, if guys like Josh Jacobs and Dalvin Cook and others aren't getting paid, why would the Ravens pay J.K. Dobbins, who has not had a 1,000-yard season, who has not been dependable when it comes health-wise? It just doesn't make any sense for where the Ravens are at at this point. So with that said, I tend to think it's that direction personally. But – We'll continue to discuss this week of more information. In the meantime, here's Lamar, what he had to say when asked about J.K. Dobbins. I haven't talked to him about the situation, but I'm very excited. You know J.K. is J.K. I know he's going to work his tail off and can't wait till he's out here. So, our pen comment today, what's your one-word reaction to Dobbins missing camp so far? What do you think? of what's transpired so far at this point. Let us know in the comments section. Give me one word to describe it all of what's going on with J.K. Dobbins at this point in time. Let us know in the comments section below. Folks, we are your Ravens training camp headquarters. As We're talking about the Baltimore Ravens each and every day here on the channel as we're talking uh, news and analysis from training camp. We're giving you our takeaways. If there's any injuries that go down, Whatever it may be, we're going to be all over it here on the channel, keeping you up to speed of what's happening with your favorite team all throughout camp. And that'll continue all season long as we'll be doing some live shows, some watch parties, and a lot of different stuff coming up very soon. And we are in a race to 10,000 subscribers with the Alabama Football Report. We are about 32 subs away from getting there. Bama's still got a ways to go, but they're picking up a little bit of steam sorts. So we want to make sure that we secure the victory. Can't get beat by a college team here. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers first. That way you can know exactly what's going on with your Ravens. If you're a real member of the flock, you'll subscribe now for free and be glad you did. Number two on our training camp observations, we turn our attention to Odell Beckham Jr., who through just a couple days to this point looks the part. Here is a photo of of him, as you can see uh, there in workouts and uh, being very active there. And he spent a lot of time at, after practice signing autographs, taking photos with fans. He was soaking it up. And then on the field, Beckham had one of the highlights of the day yesterday with a deep catch from Lamar Jackson, which the veteran receiver leaped to catch a pass uh, between cornerback uh, Rocky Sin and Kyle Hamilton. So uh, making his presence known there and I'll say this with OBJ not only does he look comfortable on the field but hearing what he said and how things are going off the field it looks like he's happy off the field as well that he's got both things going for him not only is OBJ 100% healthy 
But he is all in, all invested, and I've heard all the right things from OBJ to this point. I've been very impressed with what he's done to begin his time here with the Baltimore Ravens at this point in time. Lamar had this to say about OBJ. Odell is a household name. He built that on his own, and he speaks for itself, and it speaks for itself. You've seen that out there today. He is just giving me a lot of confidence. Very good news on that front. We move to the left guard spot. That is where we find our guy Maul, as we call him, N-A-A-L. And Maul, the sixth-round pick, is getting first-team reps at the left guard spot right away. We know that there's an open competition to see who ultimately is going to be the starter at left guard. And it seems like Maul right away is the favorite to land the starting position at this point. Here's more from John Harbaugh, what he had to say about what he's seen from him so far. Uh, As far as him starting at this point, getting first-team reps, that's something he's earned because of what he's done since he got here so far. There's a long way to go, of course. But nonetheless, he is, it seems like, the early favorite to win that job. He's contending with uh, John Simpson, as well as Ben Cleveland. John Simpson, very good run blocker, previously played for the Raiders, had 21 uh, games started for Las Vegas. Meanwhile, Ben Cleveland, former third-round pick, back in 2021. But so far, Maul seems to be the guy uh, leading the way. And I'll say this, John Harbaugh does not play favorites here, okay? Um, If we see Maul out there leading the way, it's because he's earned that right to do so. They're not just putting him out there because, you know, he he gave John Harbaugh an apple or a cookie or something here. You know, he's earned that time. So while it may be surprising to hear a sixth-round pick already getting first-team reps, something is going right to get to this point. So I trust John Harbaugh and this coaching staff that they've seen something in Maul to trust him to be able to accept that role. Uh, We mentioned sixth-round pick, 199th overall pick out of Oregon. He was an all-Pac-12 honorable mention in 2022. And in four years with the Oregon Ducks, uh, he saw significant playing time, 29 starts to be exact over that stretch. So let me ask you guys, are we going to see Maul start week one at left guard for the Baltimore Ravens? Is he going to win the job and be the day one starter for Baltimore Weigh in, tell us in the comment section what you think. Why for yes, in for no. Predict it for me in the comment section. If you think he's going to be that guy or not, let us know what you think in the comment section. Why for yes, in for no. With the season almost here, now is the perfect time to get your Ravens jersey and get it just in time for the season to begin. And we have plenty of options for you, folks. Whether it's a guy like Marcus Williams, Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, uh, maybe you even want to throw it back to a guy like Ray Lewis or something. Whatever it may be. We have all different options and different shapes and sizes and colors, whether it's the home jersey, the black jersey, the white jersey, the alternate gold, any of them. They're all available for all sorts of different Ravens players. All in one place. Chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. So whatever you're doing, stop it and go to Chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey to get yours today while supplies last and you'll be glad you did. That's chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. Next on our countdown of training camp observations is where we find Kyle Hamilton in the increased role that Hamilton uh, is going to have. Listen to this. Uh, Though the offense had their fair share of plays and chain-moving catches, the defense generated a pair of turnovers, the first being an interception from safety Kyle Hamilton yesterday. In seven-on-sevens, uh, Lamar Jackson threw a ball to wide receiver Nelson Aguilar on a deep route who was covered by Rocky Sin and Hamilton. The leaping safety made a play and came down with the first pick of camp. This was the first incompletion of seven-on-seven drills after completing nine straight completions from Lamar. So Kyle Hamilton uh, gets on the record books with the first INT of camp to this point. Marlon Humphrey spoke about Kyle Hamilton, what he's seen so far to this point, and he said, I'm really excited to see Kyle in a bigger role this year. As far as starting safety, obviously he played some nickel last year. Game plan, I'm sure he'll be a guy that can play anywhere, but for now we have him predominantly at safety, So, uh, but I'm really excited to see him go there. Look, we all know the talent level 
that Kyle Hamilton brings to the table there. Um, there's no reason why I don't think Kyle Hamilton shouldn't be a Pro Bowl caliber player in 2023. We saw him on the all-rookie team. He was one of the better rookies, but there were flashes, right? There, there were times that he was looking really good and times he kind of, you know, was just missing. You could have put him on a milk carton at times. But I think you're going to see the former first-round pick out of Notre Dame look like the player that we anticipated of taking that next step from good to great this upcoming year. I mean, think about this. We talk about the talent level. There was many, including our own Tom Downey, who last year thought that Kyle Hamilton was the best player in the entire draft. And here he is in Baltimore uh, in the value that they picked him at. Remember, he was not picked uh, number one overall by any means, and yet the Ravens still got made the best player in the draft. So look out for Kyle Hamilton to make that next step here this season. What's your confidence level in Kyle Hamilton entering 2023? Weigh it in the comment section for me and let me know. Scale 1 through 10 where your confidence level is in Kyle Hamilton at this point in time. Last on our countdown today is the now known as Joystick Zay Flowers. That's the new nickname that Zay Flowers has been given, courtesy of his quarterback, Lamar Jackson. We'll let Lamar explain what's going on with Zay Flowers. Listen to this. I knew they were going to come in ready. Zay, his new nickname is Joystick because he may be moving out there so swift and making stuff happen. His new name is Joystick. We'll call him Joystick, not Zay. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And, and here's what we mean by Joystick. Here's some advanced analytic numbers that I want to show you here. And... You don't have to be a genius to kind of interpret these numbers, but this is what we mean by human joystick, folks. Contested catches at Boston College last year in 80% catch rate. Yards after catch, 75% rate, okay? And you can see the rest of the numbers uh, on your screen there. That's the type of stuff we're talking about of being a human joystick, and that's exactly what he is. Lamar is spot on, and I think it's a perfect nickname, and the numbers back that up. John Harbaugh and Zay Flowers had this to say. Zay has just been nothing but impressed with everything he's done. You kind of get a feel that he's not a rookie. You get a feel like he's a veteran, very mature. What do you think of Zay's nickname? Joystick. I like it. It's creative. I like that it's original, came from the organization. Grade the nickname, A, B, C, D, or F of the new nickname for Zay Flowers. Chad Men, tell us in the comments section what your grade for the new nickname is. Hit me up on social media. Updates uh, throughout camp on your Ravens. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, threads as well. At Tyler Jones Live, you can find me there. I'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown.